you're going to have to change my mind here because I just don't understand how some women will say, I gave birth and I didn't even know I was pregnant. Yeah, how's that even possible? I don't know. They have whole shows that are dedicated I've to it. I've seen it, it yeah. Mm-hmm. Are these mostly yeah. bigger women? No. Oh. They're women of all sizes, and they just don't have a say. They don't have any idea that they were pregnant at all until they gave birth. Is it a very huh. small baby? Small babies, small women, large women, big babies. I mean, it, mm-hmm. it, I've seen it's- a, Yeah, I've seen a show where yeah. they had one big woman, you know. Where it varies you're like, greatly. Oh, yeah. The next one, was she was like super skinny. You're mm-hmm. like, how did you- and then barely had, like, she said, I gained, like, 10 pounds. Yeah. And in the case uh, right now, by the way, if you, I mean, if you want to change my mind and it's happened to you, you have given birth and you didn't even know you were pregnant, 800-682-1075. There's a woman in North Little Rock, Arkansas, who just gave birth, didn't know she was pregnant, in a Golden Corral toilet. My sister went around and looked in the toilet. She's like, I ain't never seen nothing like it. It's a baby. They were clapping <laughs> when she came out on the stretch. <laughs> Everybody won't see the gold crowd baby. The gold crowd baby. <laughs> the golden corral baby. Did she get her a commercial right away? Yeah. Wow. She said she went to the bathroom because her stomach started hurting yeah. and she was cramping. She thought that she was just going to go to the bathroom and, you know, have a no. bowel movement. Right. And it was contractions and she delivered a baby in the toilet. Well, I guess it's Jeez. possible. Wow. Yeah. Because you, if sometimes if you take birth control and you t- constantly take it, you could not get your period. Sure. And not, not know that way. And then. I just not happen to have, you maybe have IBS and you think the you kicks, I guess it's possible. Like, I bet you there's women that mm. went several months without knowing they're well, pregnant. Sure. Now that yeah. I get for right. sure. Like how long? Six months? Maybe. I think maybe six months would pop for me would be my point where I'm like, okay, I could believe that. Six that months. would be right. shocking right. if all of a sudden you were six months pregnant, have to prepare for a baby in a few months. Yeah. And then- even more shocking when you go to sit on the toilet thinking you're just going to have diarrhea and you give birth. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just can't. I don't know how you that get there. That can't be your first kid. That can't be I your don't first know. kid. Oh, yeah. That cannot be that lady's first kid where she's like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And it's like, oh, she didn't. It wasn't even like, oh, that hurts. But here's the thing if it was not her first kid, don't you think she would maybe recognize some of the symptoms of pregnancy? Well, yeah, I you mean, should. there are things that happen that not a lot of women talk about. Unless you have There's, another condition. Yeah. Tell us, Katie. Yeah, tell well, us, please. Disturbing things. Oh, I will gross? tell you it all. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's creating life, Jason. Yes, it's gross. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of it's pretty yeah. sick. Um, your boobs can tingle. You can mm. have some lightning, like we call it lightning crotch. Where every once in a while, there's Sounds just like fun. a zing of lightning that feels like it just zapped mm. your whole lower swimsuit area. Is it like the pressure huh. on your back? Or it's nerves, nerves and things and pressing that, yeah. and yeah, and, and growth. Ah. And then sometimes you get these feelings of like um, almost like you're having a Charlie horse cramp. You know, you get those in your legs. You can kind of feel that in the lower part of your belly as, mm. as things are growing and getting bigger. Right. Your ah. boobs can get bigger. I mean, in most cases, not in mine, but in a lot of cases. You're thinking any bigger? I mean, a little bit. But I also didn't produce I, a lot of milk. I won't say too much, but I was shocked because it's not, I don't care. I really don't. It had like no, none. Uh huh. And then it was like massive. Yeah. Like I, then, I couldn't even believe it. Because I mean, from like none. That happens. I mean, Hormones. Like yep. squid's chest to mm-hmm. like, whoa, even oh, yeah. smaller than squid's chest. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. But I mean, there's lots of things that happen. There's also the, I forget what the, Lenny, Lenny, sometimes women's bellies, I forget what they call oh, it, yeah, but they it's get, like the darker like a dark line. Mark, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, there's, there are physical things that you Plus feel. Plus kicking and yeah. moving and, uh, right. And if you're dangerous. not having any sort of, I mean, I didn't, I was very lucky. I think I, the only thing that happened to me was that I got, would get lightheaded sometimes or dizzy. And I thought, well, this isn't normal before I knew I was pregnant. But if you're not having morning sickness or there's no food aversions yeah. or heartburn, oh my God, the heart. Heartburn. Yeah, mm. that's yeah. Ugh, that's a lot. Yeah, and us guys, sometimes we get constipated. Yeah, so we get I'm so it. sorry for we, you. We get it sometimes. So terrible. Uh, ben, Ben, you know somebody that thought, obviously it wasn't you, they didn't know they were pregnant? Yeah, my wife's best friend about 10 years, 15 years ago, um, They uh, she went to the hospital uh, eight, eight and a half months pregnant, and she gave birth on her second child. She stands about six foot one, weighing in around 230 pounds or so. So she was a bigger girl anyways, but um, she didn't ever gain no weight or anything like that. So, um, you know, the doctors, I mean, the doctors told her, uh, gave her a checkup and all that, run some blood and came back, says, hey, you're pregnant. You're about to have your baby. Wow. wow. Let me ask That's you, wild. Katie, goodness, what would yeah. be the, a shocking time period? Three months? Of not knowing you're pregnant, like when would when should you know that even if you weren't suspecting it, 
expecting it. Yep. That you were pregnant. For me personally or in general? In, in general, most people that, w- that have have no clue they weren't trying. Yeah. Uh, I th- or I or mean, they, maybe they didn't have the period anyways uh-huh. because of the birth control or something. I think three months is kind of a long time for you to not have any mm-hmm. idea. Because you don't have. You don't have to be showing. But there are things that, like we were just talking about, change. that happen on the inside that are. But most, in- most women, the number one way is if yeah. they don't miss their period, correct? For sure. So then you would be three months at that point without any sort of. And you'd yeah. be taking a test. So if, you, if, you, if you had consistent periods, mm-hmm. after two or three months, you'd be like. Oh, I, I would. After yes. one month, you probably would take a test just to be sure. But wouldn't yeah. you also, if you, like women just don't forget about the periods, do they? No. Okay. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Oh, this whole Jason, thing again. Jason, they remind us every month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And let me just tell you, if you guys had periods, you probably would all oh, die. Not actually yeah. Just yeah. You'd actually all die. Right. We're like, oh, you wouldn't survive one period. Right on schedule. You'd be like, oh my God, my cramps. And then you'd be calling out of work. Yes. Lying on the floor. Wouldn't be able yeah. to live. The world would have already been already yes, ended. It would have, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, no, that's not something that you just forget about. Now, there's times where, you know, if you are on birth control and you're waiting for a certain time, or if you're not on birth control, you're like, oh, give or take a week, you know, because your bo- everybody is different. But you're going in three months, and there hasn't been you. You definitely are thinking, hmm, could be something. But if you take birth control every day, you know how there's the packets and of pills. Yep. And then there's one week that's not really. It's like kind of a like just the, so you get in the sugar habit. Pills. Yeah. But if you actually have real pills at that time, which you can uh, be subscri- um, prescribed. You wouldn't get your period too, so you could technically got and pregnant, uh-huh. go on birth control, take it every time, and lose it. Or what happens? This what happens if you get pregnant, and then all of a sudden a week later you start taking birth control. So you think the reason why you don't have a period mm-hmm. is because you're on birth control. It could happen. It happen Clearly, it happens. Mm-hmm. It happens. Uh, yeah, and I. But would you say most women is like when they start showing? I mean, it's kind of. When do but they it's start different show? for everybody though. It's di- it is because you could be six months and barely yeah. showing. Yeah. I just think it. Seven, eight, yeah, nine there's, months. There's it's, I don't know. The baby's know. so big because it, yeah, it starts growing exponentially. Uh huh. Mm. I mean, maybe unless you have like a really, really long torso, or what that guy say in such a beautiful way? She's a big old girl. Yeah, she's six one, two hundred thirty pounds. She's a big old. She girl was a anyway. big old girl. Mm. Big old girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a big old, long, big old girl. <laughs> My mind, and the, I was thinking of like, please don't let her be listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody wants to be described that yeah, way. Yeah, described it like there's not a lot of six one girls in general. So <laughs> that's how you describe a cow. You're right. Big she old. was a big old girl. Big old. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a very interesting. Mm-hmm. They have the baby, and also, if you just join us, we have the Golden Corral baby. A baby was born in the Golden Corral. The lady did not know that she was pregnant. My sister went around and looked in the toilet. She said, like, I ain't never seen nothing like it. It's a baby. They were clapping when she came out on the stretch. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the Golden Corral baby. Golden Corral baby. What a scene. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Name of steak or macaroni, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> what about the yeast rolls? Aren't they famous for their yeast rolls? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Golden Corral. <laughs> call her Buffet. Uh, <laughs> call her Goldie and then, or call her go. Golden and Goldie for short. Oh, Love yeah. It. That's Huge. a great idea.